Marketing for my money is the most critical organizational function if you really want to make profit short, medium to long term. Now, in the light of this COVID pandemic, it becomes even more important to understand issues around consumer behavior, consumption issues, how to sell on digital platforms, and all these things I've spoken about all dovetail back to the marketing function. Now, the question to ask is, this marketing function, what does it comprise of? And how can we leverage these marketing mix elements in order to really achieve organizational success? Now, marketing itself was given birth to in the 1940s, 1950s, and the subject comes from economics. Now, around the time marketing was born, we had what we call the classic marketing mix. Four Ps, product, price, place, promotion. As the subject grew and time passed, we metamorphosed in the 60s to what we call the services marketing mix. So it was product, price, place, promotion, fiscal evidence, and then processes and people. Now, for the purposes of my short presentation to you today, I want to focus on the traditional marketing mix. So I'm going to chat with you today about the marketing mix and the customer. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take these four Ps and I'm going to show you the corresponding four Cs that align with these four Ps. So let's start with products. Products are anything you offer to a market of value, which you get payment for because it represents a value offering to a potential customer audience. So products typically matter. I wrote a book 15 years ago where I said, all excellent marketing practices revolve around the solid products. Because the product is defective, you're not going to achieve any marketing success. Then we have what we call price. Price is the, the fee you place on that product you offer in order that people realize value for the price you've charged. Then we have place, which is the distribution element. Now, distribution is both brick and mortar and digital. So whether it's a fiscal bank branch or it's your Facebook platform or whether you're listing on some site like Amazon, distribution totally matters. And then we have promotion, which is the communication elements you combine in order to send messages to your customer audiences so they come and patronize your good or your service. So when we take this four piece, what we need to ask ourselves is, what does the product translate into for the customer? Well, the product translates into what we call customer solutions. Because if the products don't offer a tangible, discernible solution, the product is a low value to the customer. Now, it's very important to understand that sometimes customer needs change. So solution means even as we offer the product, we keep tracking customer preferences so that when they shift, we can move along with them and still deliver superior solutions. Let me give you a small example. Now, COVID came and people have migrated gradually to more digital platforms. What that means is that whatever you are offering, the product form might have to change to align with more digital channels or maybe the delivery board must change to ensure that people can patronize it in digital formats and not necessarily in brick and mortar so much anymore. The next one is pricing. Pricing translates to customer cost. Now, customer cost means that whatever cost the customer incurs to patronize your product should be less in comparison with the value they get after they consume that product. So customer cost means cost must be less than value in order for the price to make sense to the customer. The next one is place. Place is distribution. Now, the corresponding C for place is convenience. And trust me, in this pandemic era, convenience is now more crucial than it has ever been. In brick and mortar formats, sanitizing, and making sure people are safe, it's as crucial as whatever it is they are coming to buy from you at all. So convenience totally matters, and convenience is the C that goes with place. Promotion is the last one. Now, promotion is good. The corresponding C is communication. Listen, it doesn't matter how much you promote a product or service. If you don't communicate appropriately to your customer audiences, you won't connect. If you don't connect, they won't hear your message. If they don't hear your message, they will not buy from you. So please, make sure you are able to do a certain analysis of the customer to ensure that you choose the most appropriate communication platforms to connect with them so they can become advocates of your product, buy it, and become disciples in the short, medium to long term. Thank you for listening, and I'll come your way very, very soon. Remember, four Ps, four Cs, get them right, and you enjoy marketing success. Thank you for listening. Bye.